basically just a club speed session. Don't care where the ball goes, don't care the ball speed, just all out club speed. Yeah, I mean, I sky fucked that. Club speed is 135.9 miles per hour. That was hammered. Club speed is 135.1 miles per hour. 135 club, 193 ball, so... Again, I think the general rule of thumb with driver is usually about three mile an hour of ball speed, I think. Someone could correct me if I'm wrong, but between a range ball and a Pro V1 left dash, I think it's probably, yeah, like maybe four miles an hour. Club speed is 135.1 miles per hour. Club speed is 135.0 miles per hour. So high. Club speed is 138.2 miles per hour. That's why we don't care where the ball goes though. 138.2, I'm very happy with that speed. The thing is you can't train for speed at the same time as you're training for height or spin loft or backspin or anything like that. Got to take them in separate sessions, so. Really, really off balance there, Club but. Clock speed is 133.8 miles per hour. Yeah, so. Ready. Went down to just shy of 134. Ball speed was 196, so I'm finding the center-ish pretty well. Um, Generally, when I go from like a 138 and have a big drop down, I like to take just a second and kind of go through my swing thoughts. So why did I drop five miles an hour there? What felt different? Obviously, I was off balance, but I'd also think maybe I need to get higher hands, more lead foot weight transfer, quicker jump off, more hip rotation, just whatever my swing thought might be, what felt bad on that given swing is what I'll focus on on the next. So I tried to fire my hips faster through Club impact on that one. Okay, and that worked. So we got back up to close to 138. Club speed is 137.5 miles per hour. Club speed is 138.6 miles per hour. Okay. <clears throat> Club speed is 137.5 miles per hour. Come on, let's go. Club speed is 139.6 miles per hour. <clears throat> Club speed is 137.3 miles per hour. Club speed is 138.5 miles per hour. <clears throat> Club speed is 141.7 miles per hour. Let's go.